Hey guys, I've got a nice little video about a, a torch light or flashlight here. Um, this is a non-processing -pro uh, flashlight with a, using a VIG net. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Um, it's pretty nice. Um, for that to work, you obviously have to have darker surrounds and a centre that's fully transparent or close to it. So, uh, while indoors, this actually looks pretty good. I would even say it looks better than the um, the post-processing one. Actually, in, in reality, it does look better. It just doesn't work as good during the, the in, in your walking into bright areas. So when you're walking in dark areas, it's totally fine. Um, so long as the um, the room is darker than the the vig net. So if I turn that off, it actually gets a bit brighter because or there's not much difference um, because the vig net darkens that outer edge. So is, uh, there is an issue when you use it in that way. Um, I'll just show you in here. That, that, would say that room is blocked off. Uh, I'm closing those windows up so you can't see that. It's just a little bit of optimization. So, yeah. So, this is a bit brighter, this room. I'll just make sure it's. Um, oops, the time of day, it's just reset. It's just getting brighter because of the time of day. It starts about 6.30 or something. So let me brighten it up a bit. Just fast forward the time. Yep. Okay. So this is um, so this is a, moving into a supposed brighter area. If you put the torchlight on, notice how it darkens the room uh, except for the center. So it looks a bit silly. When you put a torchlight on, it's not supposed to make things dark. It's supposed to make it brighter. So that's, that's an inherent flaw of using a, a Vignette torchlight in a bright area. Uh, if you use the post-processing one you can modify that so that it turns off the intensity in bright areas so that's the good thing about it. I, in a sense I prefer that one in some ways but um, there is a way around it um, which I'll just show you that now. Let me just load up the new settings and I'll show you. Okay so just showing you the game um, you have a torchlight on, Vignet on. Um, to stop the the brightness, uh, the change in, 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 in other words, going dark to screen when you use the Vignet, you, you need to use a darker background to start with, like running in your normal game all the time. I've just used a background colour black with an alpha of about 100. Works pretty good. So if you you switch between the two, so when you want to turn the torch, torch light on, you turn off the darken and at the and and instantly turn on the uh, the vignette. It offsets each other, so you actually don't notice that change in um, uh, lightness uh, when you're putting the torch on. So that's that's how I've done it. Works pretty good. So you switch between the two. So when you turn the torch back off, you turn this dark back on again, and so you don't really notice that. The light change. Um, so I'll just I'll start that up and uh, show you that in a second. <clears throat> okay, back again. I've just updated the settings. So if I put the torch on now, so it actually does get brighter uh, around the edges as well as in the center. Um, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? So. So it's really what you want, ideally, is to use a darker background to start with and just switch between the vignette and that darker um, overlay, 2D overlay. So I'll go into a brighter area of the room. Notice how the sound changes when you open and close the doors. Yeah, it's it's that's working too. So that's nice. Um, that's all working from underground uh, floors. It's got um, different code underneath it. I'll show you that in another video. But um, I'll just make sure we some morning brightness has turned up a little bit. So what about yeah, eight thirty in the morning, nine o'clock. So turn the torch off. It should get um, darker, not brighter, like before. So I'm switching in between that dark and 2D overlay and the vignette. See, it looks fine now, doesn't it? It's perfect. So that's brighter with the torch on and darker with the torch off, in other words. That's good. That's how you want it. Looks pretty cool. 
the only problem with that is you need to probably with the game on the, the outdoor environments you probably need to update the ambient brightness to be brighter to make up for the darker to the overlay you're carrying around all the time that's the only uh, issue um, I don't think that's a big problem I'm, seems to be okay at the moment but I'll fully test it out yeah so it looks pretty good doesn't it yeah so um, so it looks pretty good doesn't it, it looks like, like a nice torch it probably should be slightly rounder I've, uh, I could have made made this fig then a little bit better. It took me about 30 to 40 attempts to get this right. It took a long time to just get that. You don't want it too dark in other words, but you want it bright enough in the middle so that you can tell it's like a torch effect. Um, that's using a single point light and a signal big net overlay. So yeah, so that's how you do it. Make If you're moving between light and dark areas in the game, uh, you want to do it that way. I think it's probably the best way. Um, if you're not using post-processing torch, uh, yeah, so there you go, you can do that. Cheers.